What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at you with another video, man. And today, man, I'm going to talk about, man, despite nearly blowing the game against Louisiana Tech Saturday, man, LSU has, like, gotten to the top five, man. You have Alabama, number one, who took a part Jimbo Fisher in Texas A&M, man, and they just look like a well oiled machine right now. This is probably the best offensive team Nick Saban has ever had over there. You got Georgia number two, you know what I'm saying, who, you know, they, they, they kind of was, was in a tough one with Missouri, but, you know, they ended up pulling it out late on the road against a really good quarterback, you know what I'm saying. You got Clemson number three who destroyed Georgia Tech. You know, you got Ohio State number four who des destroyed Tulane and got their coach Urban Meyer back. And sitting there at number five, that's right, the LSU Tigers, baby. You know, despite coming with Oklahoma, as bad as we played, you know, after having that 24 nut lead, Oklahoma had to go to overtime to beat Army at home, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, it is great, man, to start off, you know, at number 25, and after the fourth game, you jump all the way up to number five, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool, it's pretty exciting. And another thing that's pretty good is like, Right now, the number one and the number two team in the nation will be coming to Dead Valley soon. You know, we got a, a home game with Georgia in a couple of weeks. Then, of course, November 3rd, we got the big one. Most likely will be a primetime game with Alabama coming at coming to town. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, like I said, but, you know, we need to clean up these, these games, man, whenever we jump out to big leagues and just trying to put the teams away, you know what I'm saying? The Saudi, the, the, even Miami, we jumped up 33-3 and we kind of took the foot off the pedal a little bit. You know, Southeastern, man, we, we stopped playing. You know, Auburn, like that second and third quarter, we didn't really show up as much, you know what I'm saying? And like Louisiana Tech, once we got up 24 nothing, man, we just kind of put it in cruise control. You know, it had to get fortunate to, to eventually pull away at the end, man. But, like, this is a really good team, man. Like, we got a solid run game. We got a, you know, even though all, all, well, Austin Deculus was getting killed out there by the Louisiana Tech pass rusher, you know. But um, the O-line, for the most part, you know, when we get our, our injured players back, it's pretty solid. It's a very deep receiving core, man. Like, even though I'm waiting on Jonathan Giles to finally make a play, man. I mean, I ain't see him really make a play yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping maybe when we get into the games, like the Georgia games and Alabama games, he gonna finally step up. But it's like, I feel like at some point you gotta make a play or you gonna have to take that number seven off, man. Number seven at LSU make plays, man. They make plays or we might have to give this this number to to Brissett or, or Jefferson or somebody, man. Like, Giles, I know you capable of doing it, man. Come on, my, my dog. You gotta make some plays, man. Got to make some plays for us, man. You ran that number seven. You got to represent that number seven, man. But, like, the receiving core pretty deep, man. You know, with him, with Jefferson, with Sullivan, with Anderson, with Dillon, the two freshmen, you know, Chase and, and Marshall. I'm waiting on Marshall to make a couple of plays, too. You know what I'm saying? Tight ends, we still waiting on Randy Moss, son, daddy, his Moss to get back out there. Defensively, the D-line pretty good, man, with the Texas Tech transfer. Rashad Lawrence holding it down. You know, they linebackers with Devin White, man, and, and Jacob Phillips, you know, and the other guys, man. The secondary got the best corner in the country, Greedy Williams. You know, arguably one of the best safeties in the country with Grant Delpit. You know, Ford, even though he was he was getting a little beat out there by the hardy dude at LaTeX, he's solid. You know, John Battle came back in the second half. I mean, this is a really good team, man. And we gonna, I mean, we got some huge games coming up, man. We got like one more, like non-conference, kind of powder puff type of game with Rice. But everything else is SEC on, on out, man. And like I said, Mississippi State lost. We got Mississippi State at home. Got Ole Miss at home this week. You know what I'm saying? We got the road, we got to go to the swamp. They're not as, well, they punish Tennessee, but Tennessee terrible. You know, it's always gonna be a good game with us in Florida, regardless of what the records say. 
you know, we got Ole Miss coming to town. You know, they're going to really want to come try to knock us off, man. Mississippi State, you know, Arkansas, you know, Battle for the Boot. You know, and AM going to AM, man. We got some, the schedule about to get brutal, man. But um, we've been doing a good job so far, man. We definitely worthy of being a top feet, five, five team right now, man. Hopefully, Jambalaya Joe and this, this offense, you know, can start getting it rolling a little more consistently, you know. But um, I like this team, man. I think everything we want is in front of us, man. We just got to gotta put it all together and finally play a 60-minute football game, you know. But, um, yeah, shout-out to our LSU Tigers hitting in the top five, man. You know, four weeks, that's a fall climb from 25 to five in four games, man. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Appreciate y'all checking out the video, man. If you like, give your boy a subscribe, man. Y'all have a blessed, man. Go Tigers.